In Alexandria, a teenager is safe, but a lot of questions remain this morning about what happened in the month that she went missing. Police say 15-year-old Jasmine Block had been held against her will since August 8th. Three men have been arrested. Police say Thomas Barker, Stephen Powers, and Joshua Holby physically and sexually assaulted the teen. Jasmine Block was found on Tuesday, and the man who made the 911 call spoke with WCCO. Mary McGuire live in the newsroom with this young woman's story of survival. Very, very unbelievable and impressive, Mary. That's right. So incredible, in fact, the police chief in Alexandria could barely find the words to describe this entire case. This morning, Jasmine Block's family is rejoicing that she is home while they try to come to grips with the nightmare that she endured for the last month. Now, Alexandria police say 32 year old Thomas Barker, a family acquaintance, took her from Alexandria on the evening of August 8th, luring her out of her home with a fake story about needing help. Police say Barker brought her to his Carlos home and tied her up with zip ties. They say he, along with two other men, repeatedly physically and sexually assaulted Block for the next 28 days. The teenager escaped after they left her alone in a foreclosed property in rural Grant County, swimming across a lake there for help. It was there that she ran into this farmer who asked that we hide his identity. She came up to the pickup, said that uh, she was from Al Alexandria, had been abducted a while back, had been held at, you know, and, and abused, you know, held against her own will, free will. And, and uh, um, I said, get in the pickup. I'm going to call 911. That man did call emergency responders and deputies were able to track down the car with those men in it. Those three men are now being held in the Douglas County Jail on probable cause for kidnapping, false imprisonment, and assault. They have not been charged yet, but we do expect those charges to come down over the coming days, Jason. So a complicated case, mm. a lot of different locations over two counties. But thankfully, Jasmine is back safe today. Boy, what courage uh, by her to escape like that. Even though Jasmine is back home, Mary, investigators, as you mentioned, because it's so complicated they really are still searching for pieces of evidence right that's right jasmine lost her shoes and her pants while she was swimming across that lake for help so investigators are hoping to recover those items they are also asking farmers in pope grant and douglas counties to check their cornfields for any damage that could have been caused by the suspect's vehicle driving through them we also saw the bca at the home of that first suspect uh, searching for evidence there yesterday all right much more still to come mary mcguire thank you